right? Lastly is about the blood supply of the pots. So again, blood supply, keep remembering the past lectures, the spinal cord, everybody now clearly knows that anterior spinal artery was supplying the anterior two third of the spinal cord. Posterior spinal arteries were supplying, they were paired while anterior spinal artery was unpaired in the medial longitudinal fissure. So the posterior spinal artery was supplying posterior one third of the spinal cord. Okay. And then we ascend up into the medulla. Now in the medulla, I taught you that was, you know, it's a midline artery, the anterior spinal artery supplying the uh, medial one third of the full thickness of the medulla while laterally it was being uh, purchased by the posterior inferior cerebellar arteries, uh, lateral two-third of the medulla, the full thickness, including the lower portion of the cerebellum. It was by posterior inferior cerebellar artery, and I told you that artery was having a tortuous course. <coughs> okay, the largest branch of the vertebral arteries. Now, the two vertebral arteries, when they reach, when they reach the pontomedullary junction, they they join and together join to form a basilar arch. Can you see here this thing in this diagram? You are seeing is the two vertebral arteries, right? They have entered into the cranium through the foramen magnum. That the two vertebral arteries will join to form a single unpaired artery, and that's called basilar arch, right? So, and this is happening at the pontomedullary junction. So, the two arteries, when they join, they form the basilar artery. And basilar artery, you know, it runs on the ventral aspect in the medial plane. There is a sulcus, vertical sulcus, around 2.5 centimeter in length. And that's called the basilar sulcus, which lodges the basilar artery. This basilar artery, when it reaches the upper junction with the crush cerebri, or you can say with the midbrain, then it terminates into two terminal branches and those are called the posterior cerebral arteries, right? Up other branches are from this is anterior inferior, from the basilar artery, I'm telling you, one is anterior inferior cerebellar artery, you have superior, uh, anterior, superior cerebellar arteries, you have labyrinthine vessels and most importantly is the, you can see they are uh, perpendicularly or you know 90 degrees you can say perpendicular branches given out from the basal artery and these are called pontine branches the pontine artery the small arteries but they supply the full thickness of the pons so that was in a vertical view on the ventral surface now you are seeing here is this uh, um, transfer section so in a transverse section, you can see that this is the cut section of the pons. And here in the basilar sulcus, you find is this basilar artery. Here, you can see, compared with this diagram, this is the pons. And here in the basilar sulcus is the basilar artery. So this is basilar artery. From the basilar artery, it now gives at 90 degrees, I told you, there are 90 degrees given out of, you know, perpendicular branches. My, these are called the basilar artery and now these are called the pontine branches right so pontine branches from the basilar artery they are all of different lengths different lengths the one and the few branches dip immediately into the substance of the pons and they are called the paramedian branches of the basilar artery some of the branches, they travel a short distance and then they uh, dip into the substance of pons and they are called short circumferential branches. While there are few branches from the basilar artery which run, you know, because it's a convex thing, right? So convexity along, they will run and they are long circumferential branches which reach laterally up to the junction with the medial cerebral, middle cerebral peduncle. there it also supplies uh, you know blood to this lateral portion of the pons and that's by long circumferential branch so that's how this you can see that basilar artery perfuses the entire thickness of the pons and this is a you know schematic view to tell you that the territory supplied by the basilar artery mainly is this paramedian then this is short circumferential and this is lateral circumferential okay but remember that 
you also have additional supply it's not the only it's you know, you know that blood supply of course dominant the most important supply of the pons is by basilar artery but there are few branches from the anterior inferior uh, cerebellar uh, arteries as well as uh, anterior superior cerebellar arteries they also provide you know these branches anterior inferior cerebellar and superior cerebral arteries they also supply blood to the pons laterally okay so paramedian branch of the basilar artery cortico spinal axons ko supply karenge right medial pontine nuclei ko supply karenge yahan pe pontine nuclei the and this is medial laminiscus ko bhi supply karenge circumferential branches of basilar artery what will they supply they will supply lateral pontine nuclei all these nuclei placed laterally they will supply the lateral pontine nuclei antero lateral system whatever you know yahan pe bahut kuch tha jo kuch bhi tha sab antero lateral they will supply be by the circumferential branches okay so paramedian is like you know medial portion baki laterally it's by the circumferential branches okay uh just to remind you that there are few other branches let's uh, see how it was being formed so you are seeing is the vertebral arteries how they were entering from the foramen magnum and the two uh, you know anterior spinal arteries they join and to form the unpaired anterior spinal artery in the midline this will be supplying the medulla medial is a mute then the two arteries join to form this basilar artery here basilar artery ki branches dekhte hain as i told you one is this anterior inferior cerebellar artery theek posterior inferior cerebellar artery i told you it's a branch of vertebral artery it's the largest and the longest branch and tortuous artery branch of vertebral artery posterior inferior cerebellar artery. While anterior inferior cerebellar, minded, ये short note आता है पूरा five marks का, the entire diagram, right? So make sure you learn this very well. It includes the circle of Willis. This is called the circle of Willis. So the branches of the basilar artery, you can see, is anterior inferior cerebellar artery. Then there are transverse perpendicular branches, the basilar artery, which includes median, para, para median as well as circumferential branches. These are called pontine arteries, right? Then you have the superior cerebellar artery, and the lastly, the basilar artery terminates into two posterior cerebral arteries. Got it? Posterior cerebral joins this posterior communicating, which is a branch from internal carotid. to complete this circle of willis i will teach you in detail about this when i'll be talking about the blood supply of cerebrum right now our focus is only on this much portion which is the blood supply of pons now here you see this violet color area right in the three sections you can see the three sections they have made of this pons right rather this is just uh, you can say because they have shown is the trochlear nerve so this is you can say that it's the lowest portion of the mid brain also so lower portion of the pons upper section of the pons and the lower section of mid brain you can see in the me para median in position this violet color thing is being supplied by the you know paramedian branches of the basilar artery right while this portion here is by the green portion here is by the circumferential branches from the basilar artery now this blue area here is by anterior inferior cerebellar artery so this you will find in the pons only बिकॉज ये नीचे छुट जाएगी ना ये मिड ब्रेन तक तो नहीं जाएगी सो एंटीर एंड फीरे सेरेबल आंट्री डू हैव अ रोल इन सप्लाइंग द लोअर पोर्शन ऑफ द पॉन्स वाइल दिस सुपीरे सेरेबलर आर्ट्री सुपीरे सेरेबलर आर्ट्री विल सप्लाई पोर्शन ऑफ द लोअर मिड ब्रेन एज वेल एज द अपर सेक्शन ऑफ द पॉन्स दिस एरिया ऑरेंज वन got it so these are the different colored areas we demarcate the different areas perfused by the different arteries i have told you this is 
all the way basal artery reaches to supply the midbrain as well got it okay so let's uh, move next okay so this is done about the pons now i'll teach you about the clinical and applied anatomy of the pons hardly much here all you know because in intracranial portion the